How's it going? Parker Seagley here. Yeah, now that you're up sorted on a wakeboard, now it's time to look at what kind of boat you want. Pretty much to start with, you can go behind anything like a, a regular speedboat or tinny, whatever, but as you progress more, you're gonna wanna go to a wakeboard boat, something like this. So there's a few things that distinguish this as a wakeboard boat. You've got obviously your tower, ballast tanks, uh, power wedge. They're all things that really define it as a wakeboard boat. So pretty much your tower, what it is, is it's your tow point. So your rope's gonna be hooked up there. And what it does is because it's really high, it doesn't pull you down when you're doing your tricks. You're gonna get pulled up or lets you stay up high. So that's really good for learning tricks because you have more time in the air. Yeah, the tower can be used for a number of different things as well. Like you can mount your boards on it, you can have some speakers on it, and then obviously your bimney as well can be up nice and high on there too. So yeah, what your ballast tanks do is they really weigh the boat down and it creates a big wake for you to do some tricks behind. That's really probably the most important thing when you start getting better and want to learn more tricks. So yeah, definitely having ballast is a key point in learning how to wakeboard really good. Um, yeah, so another great feature on this boat is also the wedge. Um, what the wedge does is it creates the wake shape. So if you want a mellow shape, you'll set it to a certain point. If you want it a bit steepy, you pull it up and set it at a different point. Yeah, another really good feature about the wedge is it's totally adjustable by the driver. So yeah, you can pretty much set it wherever you want, whenever. So at the transom of the boat, you've got a duck board, which is really good for getting your board on and getting ready and then jumping into the water. It's also really safe as well because it makes the prop a bit more under the boat and you know nowhere near it so there's no way of getting hurt by any, by any chance. Another cool thing about this boat is it's only 22 feet long and it's licensed to carry 14 people so there's plenty of room for all your friends to come and ride. 